welcome back to Health Net Nutrition. Today I'm sharing with you guys another what I eat in a day, but this is a rock climbing edition. I thought it would be really fun for Motivation March to try something new. And I've done rock climbing in the past before, but bouldering is always something I've wanted to kind of dive into. I've been a little bit hesitant because there are no ropes, guys. It's just your body weight, your hands, and gravity. And today, I'm super excited to be partnering up with Vital Proteins. They make grass-fed collagen peptides. And I know you might be like, what is that? Um, it's honestly the best thing I've been adding to my diet lately. It's awesome for your hair, skin, nails. It's totally flavorless. And you can basically add it into so many different recipes. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use it in my day-to-day -day life. And for today's video, I'm actually at my friend's rock climbing studio, The Cave, which is located in Mississippi. Saga. Peggy and Ryan own this beautiful space and they're gonna actually teach and show me how to do some bouldering. So let's get started and we'll hop right into the video. One of the first things I do in the morning is I hydrate and I usually start my day with a little bit of lemon water. Next, I usually like to kind of rummage through the fridge to see what veggies and fruit I have to just throw all into a smoothie. Every day is different and I have a ton of different smoothie recipes I can link down below in the info box. Lately, I've been really enjoying hydrating smoothies that have cucumber and romaine, and I basically just peel the cucumber if it's not organic, and I just chop everything and throw it in, and you can't even taste it once it's all blended up. It's a great way to hide some greens into your smoothies. And like most of my recipes, I don't really uh, measure anything. I just eyeball, throw it in. After you've made your fair share of smoothies, you can start to tell how much frozen fruit versus non-frozen and liquid you'll need. So you can just eyeball everything, but if you need some pointers uh, to start off with, I will link my recipes down below. And then a trick I've been doing for a while now is adding in some soaked almonds into my smoothie, because then once you add in water, it's a quick, kind of easy way to make almond milk. I'm adding in some chia seeds, almond butter, cinnamon, vanilla protein powder, and then I'm adding in the Vital Proteins collagen peptides just to boost up the protein content, and I find it just actually helps me feel fuller longer. Fill it all up with water and blend. And I get asked all the time about whether or not you can taste the collagen peptides in your smoothies or drinks or recipes, and you can't at all. It's completely unflavored, which is great because you can really add it to anything and still get the benefits without worrying about compromising on the taste. Now I'm just serving up a couple glasses. Matt was still here, so I made him one as well. He basically will drink anything I put into the smoothie because he knows it's good for him and he is happy that he didn't have to make it. I usually will ask him how the smoothie tastes since I'm always experimenting new recipes for my channel. Time to get dressed for the day since today I'm going rock climbing. I'm just changing into some comfortable workout clothes. And since I need snacks at all times, I'm making a really quick oatmeal raisin energy bite recipe that I just kind of made up on the spot. If you guys want to see the recipe, let me know in the comments down below. It actually turned out delicious on the first try, which I love when that happens. It's just great having a snack in your bag or purse that you can just reach to, you know, if it's going to be a little bit longer till your next meal. I will link a couple of snack recipes that you can have as a post-workout snack down below. Before I go, I'm just packing up a quick gym bag since the rock climbing studio is a little bit further from my place. And I'm just putting all my essentials plus the energy bites that I made, water bottle, and then some other um, essentials that I may or may not need. All right, time to hit the road. So this is the cave rock climbing studio in Mississauga that is owned by my friends Peggy and Ryan. This is Ryan. So if you've never rock climbed before, they will usually make you sign a waiver form, go over any special instructions, and then you can rent shoes in a chalk bag so they'll fit you for the right size since you want these shoes to be nice and snug. Got my shoes. Strapping on my chalk bag. And now Ryan is just going over some basics. I've never really done bouldering before and bouldering means you are rock climbing without the rope. So the walls aren't as high yet at the studio, they were quite high. So it was definitely a fun learning experience. And then now he's just explaining how to fall, which is really important since if you fall, you wanna make sure you're doing it the correct way. So 
So this is me struggling a bit, trying to learn how to rock climb again since it's been quite a few years since I did it last. I had a ton of fun rediscovering my love for rock climbing and I definitely want to make it an ongoing thing in my workout regimen. I really hope this video inspires you to kind of step out of your comfort zone and try something new. And I was really proud of myself after I did a few walls and got more confident with it and I felt like I was going higher and higher each time. Now that I've worked up a bit of an appetite, I'm gonna snack on my oatmeal raisin bites that I made earlier. Delicious, guys. I'll definitely need to share the recipe with you guys. And then I have my Vital Proteins Marine Collagen. These are great because they come in little travel size packs and I'm just adding this into a shaker bottle with some water, a little bit of some chocolate protein powder just to give it some flavor. Give it a good shake and drink up. This is a great way to rehydrate your body get some vitamins and minerals in, and some protein as well from the collagen. Once I got home, I had a big glass of water, checked some Instagram posts, and then wanted to make a massive lunch because rock climbing definitely works up an appetite. And those energy bites only go so far. So for lunch today, I decided to make a power bowl. Being a Libra, I'm super indecisive with what I feel like eating half the time. And I love meals that have a combination of lots of different flavors and foods. So making things like Buddha bowls and power bowls are a great way for me to enjoy multiple foods all in one meal. And this is something I would usually make more on a weekend day and I will just roast a ton of veg so then I can just have it throughout the whole week. So today I'm doing some cauliflower, some carrots, and I'm just giving everything a really rough chop since I'm just gonna roast everything in the oven. I also had some kale that was about to go bad if I didn't use it this day, so I decided just to kind of roast it as well. And then on the side, I'm also just cooking up some fluffy white quinoa for my base of the bowl. Laying up my veggies, drizzling them with some truffle oil, which I've been obsessed with lately, some chunky sea salt, pepper, and then just whatever spices I had on hand. I think I put like turmeric and chili flakes and things like that. Um, but let me know if you want me to do a full actual recipe on this Power Bowl. It was really good. I really enjoyed it, so I would love to share the recipe with you guys. Seasoning my kale as well before I pop it into the oven to roast for a bit. Now it's time to put everything together, so I just have my base of quinoa, I'm topping it off with the roasted veggies. And it may seem like a lot of food, and it may be for some, uh, but I eat a large portion most of the time. And this is a lot of just plant foods, so it's easier for your body to digest. And then I just had some artichokes in there, some avocado for healthy fats, a fried egg, and then some hummus, because I love a combination of flavors. And that's how easy it is to make this power bowl. Drizzle on some sriracha, because why not? <laughs> and then just dig in. I love the fact that the yolk kind of just melts all over the bowl, so it kind of acts as a bit of a dressing as well. And this is a great meal for dinner as well. It doesn't have to be lunch, uh, but it definitely kept me full until dinner. It was quite the hearty power bowl. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you to try something new, whether it's rock climbing, bouldering, whatever you've been wanting to do lately, get out there, go do it. And I will leave a link down below for Vital Protein so you guys can go check them out. They're honestly amazing. I've been loving all their products and it's just something great to incorporate either before or after a workout or just into your daily life. Uh, whether it's a smoothie or in your bullet coffee, it's such a great supplement. And be sure to subscribe, hit that red button if you aren't already, and hit that bell notification so you won't miss a future video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!